Less than 24 hours, Los Angeles City Councilman Mark Ridley Thomas will face a judge on federal fraud and bribery charges. Tonight, pressure is mounting for him to step down, but as NBC4's Beverly White explains, some of his constituents want him to stay. Mark Ridley Thomas was an L.A. County supervisor when the Department of Justice claims he conspired with then-USC Dean Marilyn Flynn to funnel millions in county contracts to USC School of Social Work in exchange for a professorship and scholarship for an unnamed Ridley Thomas relative, believed to be his son, Sebastian. Mark Ridley Thomas now serves on L.A. City Council, but maybe not for long. Ridley Thomas. Absent. In response to the federal case, City Council President Nuri Martinez today moved to suspend Mark Ridley Thomas and Council Member Mitch O'Farrell seconded. Reaction from Jessica Levinson, who once led the LA City Ethics Commission. I think what they'll say is he's essentially stripped of his committee powers, um, of his voting powers, and then depending on how far they go, uh, the city controller may say he will no longer be paid. Constituents fearing a rush to judgment are speaking up for Ridley Thomas tonight. Everyone I've talked to believes that Mark Ridley Thomas has a right to have his day in court, that no one should pressure him to step down. This stings not only because it's Mark Ridley Thomas, but one of the most profound political leaders that we've seen uh, over the last three decades. Bishop Xavier Thompson says about 100 faith community members joined this virtual prayer vigil for Mark Ridley Thomas last Sunday. I felt motivated by love, compassion, empathy. I had to do something based on the fact that he has been on the front line for so many of us. The Board of Supervisors is now calling for an independent audit into Mark Ridley Thomas's alleged misconduct and the county's contracting process. As for Mark Ridley Thomas, he said in a recent statement he plans to stay in office but step back from committees and meetings. He's due Wednesday in federal court for arraignment the same day city council votes on the motion to suspend. In the Crenshaw District, I'm Beverly White, NBC4 News.